Hi again, Attorney Steve Vondren, the real estate lawyer. We are back. We are talking in this video about the duty to mediate under the residential purchase and sale agreement in California. Okay, so here's the situation. So you're a buyer or a seller, you're involved in a residential real estate transaction, and you're using that CAR form, the RPA, Residential Purchase Agreement CA. That's the standard CAR form that a lot of real estate companies in California will use in their residential transactions. Now, let's say as a buyer and seller, let's say you have an issue over non-disclosure. Something happens and there was a serious septic tank or a leak um, or some sort of plumbing issue that wasn't disclosed and now the buyer wants to sue the seller for big money for real estate fraud or non-disclosure. Well, when these kinds of cases come back to my office, first thing we do is we look at the contract and we say, what contract are we using here? Is this the residential purchase and sale agreement? Is this a standard car form? And if so, under these contracts, you're normally going to find a duty to mediate section. Okay, so that means if you have a dispute, the first thing you have to do is take this dispute to a private mediation, okay? And the mediator has to basically try to get the parties to reach a settlement. Mediation is very simple. It's not you know, binding, it's not with a judge but it's getting together with the other parties and trying to see if you can mediate your issue and resolve. Maybe it's paying 25,000 to fix the issue. Okay, so it's a first step to try to keep the case out of litigation. It's a form of alternative dispute resolution. You may have heard the term ADR, alternative dispute resolution, mediation being that first step. Now, if you fail to mediate, what can happen if you try to go right into a court and file a lawsuit you can find out that you might be losing your right to seek and recover attorney fees. Okay, so that can be significant, especially if you have a case like financial elder abuse, which has rights, rights to attorney fees under certain circumstances. If you go right to litigation and you skip the mediation process and the duty to mediate, which is a contractual obligation, you can find that you're waiving your rights to seek your attorney fees. So that can be significant in a case, for example, $25,000, where your damages are $25,000 and your attorney fees could be $100,000. So it's very, very important to have a real estate lawyer look at the terms of your purchase and sale agreement and see what you have to do. So the duty to mediate is an independent obligation. You have to do that whether or not the arbitration clause is signed. Okay, so as you'll also note in your purchase and sales agreement, there will be an arbitration clause. And that has to be specifically initialed for the arbitration section to be effective. So if the parties are not initialing that section or only one party initialed that section, the duty to arbitrate will not arise. And that arbitration is a binding arbitration, meaning that an arbitrator, a neutral third party, will hear and reach and render a decision on the merits of the case. So it's very important if you're involved in the dispute and you, you, you want to make sure you know what your rights are, you don't want to waive your rights to those attorney fees, have a real estate attorney look at your duty to mediate. Let's see if that's an obligation in your case. Let's look at binding arbitration. Were those uh, provisions specifically initialed by the parties? If not, you may be able to mediate and then go right into your, your civil litigation case if your mediation is not successful. Okay, so this is just a general legal overview. Things can be different, especially with commercial transactions where they're not using these types of forms and even some residential transactions will be using different forms. So if you need some help, need a real estate law firm to take a look at your case, we're happy to help you. You can find out more information about our services at askattorneysteve.com. That's askattorneysteve.com. I hope this has been a helpful video. Make sure you subscribe by clicking on our red V, and we look forward to working with you. Thanks a lot now.